Hey, a friend, Chris Van Deviver here from WhyLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. Today, let's talk about saving templates. Perhaps you have a project where you've done some writing or composing, mixing, mastering, what have you. You have a project that you are very happy with everything that you did in that project. And you're like, man, this would be a great template as a launch pad for writing and mixing in the future. Now, sometimes this is easier said than done in Logic. It's easy to save a template, but for some reason, Logic saves all of the audio files, all of the regions to the template when you save a new template. And that's about the last thing we want. We want the routing, we want the plugins, we want the track stacks, but we don't want the regions and audio files and MIDI files. So how do you go about saving a template without all this extra fluff? Just to illustrate the point quickly, let's go up to File and let's go to Save as Template. And I'm going to name this new awesome template. And I've already done this once before. So it's going to ask me, do you want to replace this? Yes, I do. Okay, so if we go to file, new from template, close this up, don't save. And I'm going to open new awesome template. Logic is going to go ahead and open all of the plugins and also all of the audio files as well. So we can see we still have our regions here. If I open the project browser right up here, and you can see that all of the audio files are still there. Okay, so we're about halfway there. We have a template, but we need to clean out the template of all this extra stuff. What I would typically do is go up to File, Save As, and we're gonna save this as a brand new project. We'll save it to the desktop and I'll call it New Awesome Template. And I wanna make sure not to copy any of the following files, just because we don't need to make duplicates of audio files and other things. Some of this stuff might actually still get copied over. We'll see what happens here. Hit save. Okay, Logic has now saved a new project. Let's close this one down and go to the desktop. New awesome template. And let's see what happens here. Okay, we still see the regions. If we go up to the project browser, we still see that this project is referring to audio files and regions. Let's take a look at the finder here though. If I click on the audio files folder, we can see that no audio files were copied. No freeze files. For some reason, the alchemy samples were copied over. Okay, go back to this project. The next step here, before we save as a template, is we need to clean out all of our regions. So we've saved a brand new project, so we don't touch the original project at all, because we're gonna start cleaning stuff out. And I don't wanna accidentally delete audio files or anything associated with the original project. So let's pop open all these track stacks and I'm gonna select all of my regions. And we wanna make sure to turn off any tracks that were frozen. Once again, Command A to select all, hit delete. And now we've removed all of the unnecessary regions. We also wanna double check for any hidden tracks. If I go up to the H here, click on it, we can see that we have some hidden tracks with regions, okay? So I'm gonna select all of those. I'm going to delete the regions and the track lanes. Okay, so we've cleaned this project out. We also wanna double check for any automation. So go up here to the automation button, click on it, and we can see we do have automation. I would go through and you know just select the nodes, hit delete, and go through all the tracks. I wanna save time, so I'm not gonna go through all of that effort. But the goal is, is to be able to you know zero out all the faders, be able to zero out the pan knobs. So we have a great project with plugins and routing, everything set to go. So let's assume that I've deleted all of this automation. Perfect. Last step, we're gonna to go to the project browser. We're gonna select everything within the project browser. So just click anywhere, Command A, to select all of the files, all of the regions that are being referred to, go to edit, go down to delete. Now this is asking me if I wanna delete a selected group because there's a multi-track set. I'm gonna say delete, perfect. We've now cleaned out this session. Remember, once again, I haven't gone through and cleaned out all of the automation. You definitely want to do that beforehand. But we now have an empty project with all our routing, all our plugins, everything we liked about it to save as a template. So let's now go to File. We'll go down to Save as Template. We'll call this the new, new, awesome template. And I've done this once before as well. So we'll replace. Close this down. Don't need to save. And we can even delete this project. So let's just go ahead and move it to the trash. And then for logic, we'll go up to file, new from template, new, new, awesome. 
choose. And now Logic has loaded our template with just the plugins, just the routing, no audio regions, no MIDI regions, no files at all. If we take a look at the project browser, you can see that there is nothing in there. So now you can create templates that are locked and loaded for creative work, for mixing work, for mastering, whatever it is that you do. I hope this has been helpful for you. If it was, as always, I highly suggest subscribing to the YouTube channel, Why Logic Pro Rules, or subscribing on the website itself, whylogicprorules.com. Every week I'm posting new videos, new emails, and new posts to help you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. Thanks so much.